WordPress themes. Okay, when you install WordPress, uh, it installs a default theme, and by theme, what we mean is the way the data and the content created is presented to the to the world. Okay, it's basically a skin, you know, a canvas, if you, if you will, uh, of a website. Now, you can purchase themes from anywhere. Um, and, and install them on a, a website and then you obviously customize it with your own colors, logos, etc. And a lot of the themes today are very, very powerful um, and, uh, and, and some of them look amazing and a lot of them, and some of them serve different purposes. So if you went to Theme Forest, for instance, and you looked at WordPress, you would see all the different types and styles of themes available. Okay? And you can purchase these themes for, the, for this amount of money. Now, that being said, th this becomes a big trap. Probably the most inquiries our company gets are from people that have purchased themes and got stuck. You know, things have broken and things like that. So, unless you follow the guides exactly the way they, they, uh, they set them up, your website's going to look entirely different than the beautiful theme that's presented in, in a demo. Okay? So, let's have a look at, for instance, this theme here. And have a look at the live preview of it. I mean, this looks just beautiful, you know. You know, very clean, very crisp, all that sort of stuff. But if you would find that if you purchased this theme and then started adding stuff, it might not look anywhere near as good. Okay, and that's because the themes are really specific to look exactly the way. So if you added, if you followed the theme directions and added all these images exactly the same and put the put the text over the images. Which, which is done manually, that's done through Photoshop, it's not actually, you can't actually touch the text, uh, you will find that this would look pretty horrible, okay? Uh, so be very careful when choosing a theme. We'll go through some of the things to look for in the, in the next series uh, and what not to look for. Um, but there's plenty of places that sell themes. You have to follow the guides extremely carefully. Um, but the most powerful thing about themes uh, and WordPress is a, a thing called ch child themes. Now, think about the theme that you install as being the parent, okay? What happens is when you create a child theme, and WordPress gives you a guide on how to do that, and what it does is it basically explains what it is. Now, I'm going to read this to you because it, it basically encapsulates everything a child theme is. A WordPress child theme is a theme that inherits the functionality of another theme called the parent theme. That's the original installed theme. Child themes allow you to add, modify or add functionality of that parent theme. A child theme is the safest and easiest way to modify an existing theme, whether you want to make a few tiny changes or extension changes. Instead of modifying the theme files of the parent theme, which is the theme that you purchased, you can create a child theme and override within. So what that basically means is you can purchase a, a, a WordPress theme, and let's have a look at this theme as an example. You'll see that this theme, or let's go to a, um, another theme, um, so that I can basically give you a good example of it. Um, you'll see that, um, that a lot of the themes are, are updated, okay? Um, now, I'm just going to, sorry, I've, I've chosen the wrong theme there. But let's, let's have a look at this one here. You'll see that um, as we scroll down, you'll see the updates for, for that theme, okay? Um, and so it basically gives you exact information on, on when the themes are updated. Now, if you installed a parent theme and, and then you modified that parent to do the th to add the functionality you wanted, you would not be able to upload, update the theme because what would happen is your update would, would overwrite all the changes that you made. And that's why child themes are so important. Okay? So um, just beware. So let's recap on themes. There's a lot of great themes out there. Again, the same as plugins. Look for themes that are well supported and updated on a regular basis. Okay? Number two is, um, is to, to be to remember that child themes are, are everything and, and that's where all the customization comes in and we'll show, we'll show you a child theme in, in one of the next uh, series. But a child themes allow you to modify a parent theme without touching the files of that parent theme so you can update it at any time. And most themes today are updated 
most professional themes that you purchase are updated every, you know, every uh, month at least, okay, with new features or bug fixes and things like that. And you'll have a nightmare if you install a theme and then find that there's a lot of issues with it and you can't update it. Okay, now just remember also that purchasing a theme for $45 is not going to cost you $45. I find that the majority of themes end up costing, by the time you get all the things done that you want to get done, between $500 and $1,000. If you can, if you know how to program yourself, well obviously you're going to save that money. But most of them end up being $500, minimum $500, all, all the way up to thousands of dollars. Okay, so it's not as cheap and an easy thing as you think. So it's very, you've got to be very careful in choosing exactly the right theme to suit what you want to do. Okay?